My first article, well, one of my main articles I wrote on Wikipedia was the article on stab wounds. Basically, it's when an object deeper than it is wide enters the body and causes some form of penetrating trauma. And well, it can infect many organ systems, hurt you physiologically, but most of the time you don't really die from the stab wound itself, you die from the organ failure that you get after all the blood is gone and, well, you just got stabbed. My name is Peter Cody. I am an EMT. The way I look at it is, I don't want people to get hurt, but I want to be there when they do. Well, one day, I was in Newark helping out at a hospital. We had this woman come in, she just all of a sudden just started barfing up blood. It's kind of like, this woman's barfing the blood. How do I fix that? What do I give? Using Wikipedia, I've been desensitized, and now I can look at things in a more clinical way and not let emotions overcome me in serious real-life life-or-death situations. When I edit Wikipedia, I need to make things that are exact and precise because I don't want to give false information to other people. That requires a lot of research and a lot of thought to be put into it before I actually put something into an article. That this process of editing Wikipedia is a great study technique in a way because I really need to know what I'm talking about to show it to users. To get through EMT class, I edited Wikipedia all the time. Um, for I wrote articles on acronyms and such. And if you're able to write an article on Wikipedia and explain it to another person, you can pass the test of an A+. I'm telling you. I hope the medical collaboration on Wikipedia where editors from a medical background will just come together and help improve a certain article every month. Be placebo, diabetes, mellitus, um, scabies, did I say that? You should care about Wikipedia because it's a tool where you can learn and teach others for the price of nothing. It's beautiful.